In this quick video, I'm going to be running the figure eight exercise and the U-turn exercise on the Harley for the first time. And I'm also going to talk about my experience. So hang tight. Hey guys, I'm Paul the Motor Guy and welcome to my channel where I pass on rider tips, practice drills and defensive riding strategies. Now, I'm a rider coach, a motorcycle sergeant, and owner and instructor at Pro Rider Center Texas, where we teach police riding skills to civilian riders. So here we are. This is my buddy's 2009 Harley Davidson Street Glide. I'm going to take it out, do a little bit of slow speed maneuvers for you. Be one of my first times on the Harley. Now, before I show me riding the exercises, I want to talk about my thoughts on the motorcycle. Now, it took me about 10 minutes to get comfortable with the feel and setup of the motorcycle. Now, although the technique is the same for every motorcycle, they all have a different feel. Now, on this particular bike, the handlebars were low and pushed back towards me, which made me feel a little bit cramped when turning the handlebars compared to my concourse. Now, once I got used to the motorcycle, I didn't mind it at all. Now, also, the center of gravity is much lower as well. So, when I was leaned over, I didn't feel it as much. Now, I did scrape the floorboards a couple of times, which took me a little bit of time getting used to. Because on the BMW or my concourse, when you hear the scraping noise, you're usually on the ground. Now, because of the big fairing, it made it harder for me to dial in my front tire placement. But with some practice, I got much better at it. It seemed like the rear brake was a little sensitive. So I had to move my foot to the outside of the brake pedal, which really helped smooth out my braking. Okay, so enough of that. So now let's talk about these exercises I'm going to ride. Now the dimensions for the pivot cones for my figure eight exercise is 20 feet apart. And the U-turn box is also 20 feet apart. Now, let's go out and ride this Harley. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I plan on using this bike in more of my videos. Now, if you haven't seen my video on the 10 tips to making better U-turns, be sure to go check it out. Now, until next time, practice, practice, practice and ride safe. 